changing your address. You can't just start using a different address on your paperwork. So we had uh, one of the um, judgments we take, one of the cases we took over, they had filed previously. They said, Tim, I, I filed for divorce in 2020. And, um, and then I amended my petition in 2021. And I used a new address on my petition, but they just kept mailing everything to the old address. And the reason is because you didn't file the change of address form until you do that. They're just, you got to change, you got to change your address officially with the court. Most of the people that hire me for their older cases, 2020, 21, 20, doesn't matter. If they've moved, and most of them have, they'll say, Tim, we need to update our address. And I'll say, well, if you're in LA County, no, we don't. Here's why. First of all, it's just more paperwork for me to complete unnecessarily. Second of all, the reason I don't need to update your address, because once I take over, I e-file everything with LA County. Now, if you're in another county in California that doesn't have e-file, then yeah, I'm going to update your address because I want to make sure the court has the proper address. So when they approve your judgment, they mail you the documents to your current address. But for LA County, I'm not going to go to the trouble and time of of updating your address with the court because once I take over, I'm e-filing with the court and they're going to email me back the approvals. Nothing will, once you hire me, nothing goes back to your original addresses or any address for that matter. It all becomes via e-file and email back to me. So I won't go to the trouble. Just know that if you hire me and you've moved, I'm not going to update, update your address because I'm going to, it's just going to take more time. It's going to cause a delay with the court to change it. And usually by that point, I can already have your divorce finalized, signed, notarized, and uploaded to the court for final review.